Would council president please introduce themselves and state their affiliations for the record? Tony Busby for the injured worker. Introduce yourself to us, please. Name's Wendell McMillan. And I understand you're from Texas? Yeah. And have you lived in Texas your whole life? All 52 years. So you were a barge foreman <clears throat> for Beso Marine in 2010? Yes, sir. And was that the only year you had ever been a barge foreman? Yes, sir. And you're no longer a barge foreman? They bust me back down. That's right, sir. What did they bust you for? When I cut my finger off. What do you mean? Show me your finger. And they demoted you for that? Yes, sir. Help me understand that. I don't know. I can't explain it. Cause I, that's all they told me. So there was an accident, obviously. And your finger got cut off, right? Yes, sir. And you got demoted. Yes, sir. What's a JSA, uh, Mr. McMillan? Job safety analysis. Atlantis? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, and tell me what, what it means. It, it takes over the job steps of, for the job. Okay. Safety-wise. Uh, you're supposed to talk through it? Yes, sir. And you're supposed to try to eliminate the hazards? Yes, sir. How do you go about doing that? Filling out all the paperwork, all the proper, where it says many girls had hazards can happen, and how you eliminate it. Mm -hmm. And that's, and you, everybody signs off on it? Yes, sir. Did you ever look into that situation once you found out that a shackle had been dropped on somebody's head? Yes, sir. What did you figure out? What did you find out? That it didn't happen. Who said that? Who said it didn't happen? Well, my guys told me it never happened. Which ones told you that? All the regulars. Well, which ones? Who said that? But I looked into it, but it didn't happen. Well, who told you that? Who told me that? That's what I've been once asking you for. That, the, once who signed that non-witness report. They was up there, too. Okay, just a second. Who specifically told you that the accident <clears throat> never happened? Because Arnell was up there. He didn't. He didn't drop nothing. I was supervising. That's how come I know it didn't happen. I was up there. You were up on the helipad when the rigging was taking place? Mm hmm You were? Yes, sir. Okay. But I helped rig it up. You were, you were helping rigging it up? Yes, sir. And you didn't see anybody drop anything? No, sir. Did you see the guys down below? I made sure there was nobody down there before I went up. I was the last one up the stairs. Are you sure about that? Yes, sir. Well, wh which time are you talking about exactly? When we rigged it up, when we started rigging it up, I sent them up to catch the rigging, and then I wiped, made sure everybody was out before I went up. Where do you keep the shackles and shackle pins? I take the shackle and the shackle pin out, and I put the sling in there, then I put the shackle back in, and I pin it. Have you ever dropped one of those before? Not on purpose. Well, not suggesting you did it on purpose. I'm just asking, do you, sometimes those can be dropped, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And those things are heavy as a devil, aren't they? No, sir. Would you want to be hit on the head with one from 10 feet above? No, sir. Okay. It'd knock the devil out of you, wouldn't it? Assuming you got any devil in you, it would knock it out of you, wouldn't it? It'd take a lot of knocking. <laughs> you got that much in you? Yeah, I got plenty. It would be a one-inch shackle. That's the inch and a quarter or inch and a shackle pin. Okay, so it's a little bit different. Yeah, a little bit smaller. But just a small amount smaller. About an inch, quarter inch. Okay, quarter inch smaller. Yeah. yeah. You ever dropped one that's a quarter inch smaller? Yeah. Why'd you do that? Slipped out of my fingers, but it was over the side. People make small mistakes, right? Yes, sir. That's why the sequencing of the job is so important, right? Yes, sir. You were relying on your welding foreman to make sure that he didn't put his people in there until y'all got done. Yes, yes, sir. Do you know whether he sent those guys over there to cut before he was supposed to? I don't remember. Okay. So you believe you, believe you probably did, right? I just don't remember. Well, I know you don't remember, but you didn't send them over there to do it, did you? No, sir. The only other person it could be would be Arcee, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And you, being a common sense guy that tells the truth, know that that's what he did, right? Yes, sir. Objection okay. Four. So you found out he had done that, didn't you? No, sir. When did you find out he did it? Two days later. So you found out two days later that R.C. had jumped the gun, didn't you? Yes, sir. And that son of a gun was not supposed to send those, kid, those men over there to do that cutting until you guys were done, right? Yes, sir. But he did anyway, didn't he? Yes, sir. Why? Don't give me the line. 
I mean, did you talk to him and say, hey, man, you know better than that? You put those men in jeopardy. Did you talk to him? He don't, he don't talk to me. He never talked to me after that. He just wouldn't even talk to you about no, it? No, sir. You were pretty well pissed, weren't you? Pretty much. I figured you were because you knew that was really unsafe. Yes, sir. And that guy sent those two workers and put them in jeopardy, and you had no idea because there was no way for you to know it. Isn't that right? Objection. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. Right. But you understand that job one is don't put your people in jeopardy. Yes, sir. But he did that anyway, didn't he? Yes, sir. Okay. You know who Ronnie Tooker is? He was the bar's clerk at that time. Where is he now? I have no idea. He gone? He's been gone for a while. Okay. Why did he leave, you know? I think he said he was going to become a diver. An offshore diver? Uh, apparently it didn't work out. Well, what happened? I don't know. Hmm. I don't discuss it. You don't even talk about it? I don't even talk to him. Or his cousin. Or who's his cousin? David, uh, Jason Cave. Okay, does he work out there too? He did. He's gone as well? Yes, sir. What happened to him? I have no idea. Huh. <laughs> They're just dropping like flies out there, aren't they? Yes, sir. Huh. How come y'all had so many accidents out there? What do you mean? What I mean is, I'm looking at your, your daily progress report, and I see 11 people who had some sort of accident. Objection four. Can you help me understand why there's so many people getting hurt? Well, what do you consider accidents? I consider dropping a, uh, a shackle pin 10 feet and knocking somebody on top of the head an accident. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. Okay. That would be an accident. What, okay. But what, what else would you consider an accident? I would consider a guy catching his finger in a winch where it gets cut off to be an accident. Yes, sir. <clears throat> would you agree with that? Yes, sir. Right. Do you know what happened to each one of these people? Most of them just scrapes. Okay. What about Juan Mora? You know what happened to him, don't you? Well, that's the one that folks got knocked out of the shackle pin, but yeah. I don't remember. You don't remember what? That you're getting hit. Because well, you, you didn't see it? I didn't see it and I didn't witness anything. I didn't fill out no paperwork. Who dropped the pen? I can't tell you. I can't remember. Was it you? No, sir. Which one of those other two dropped that pen? And I don't remember. So your testimony would be, it ain't my responsibility to do an investigation. That's your I would, testimony. I, mean, I would be asking questions, but... I won't get no straight answer out of them like they would. Why is that? Why Why would you not get a straight answer out of them but like they could? Because I'm always around them. You never know when they're going to be kidding with you or not. Or lying to you. Yeah. So you'd say, look, I wouldn't, I wouldn't question them because I'm around them all the time. They'll lie to me. Yeah. That's how you feel. That's how I would feel. And you feel like those riggers would lie to you. Yeah. But they'd tell you, hey, I didn't drop a pen when I really did. Right? They might have. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, so that's why your testimony, that's why you didn't do any investigation. That's right. When you told me it was Regus a while ago, you'd forgotten that it was really this Floyd yeah. Turner Jr. That, I mean, they come and go. I can have a hard time keeping up with who I am sometimes. I, mean, I understand that completely. Luckily, you've got a very unique look. So you can always remind yourself that you are Wendell McMillan. I got to look at my passport to make sure. <laughs> uh, you're awesome. Where, where is your, where happened to that finger? Did you ever recover it? Yeah. Where I is just it? told them to leave it at the hospital. I didn't need it. Oh, okay. They couldn't sew it back home, so why should I carry it around my neck? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hadn't thought about carrying it around your neck, but now that's an idea. You ever watch Game of Thrones? No. You know, as a guy got his hand cut off, they put it around his neck for a while. So it made me think of that. Now they asked him if I wanted to throw him in, they can have it. To get somebody needs really needs it. Did you ever ask him why? No. Okay. I'm be, I could I be the first one he jumps all over. He gets on your in your case pretty Both good. Both pretty regular. He I jump, sorry, go ahead. But I jump back at him. You do. I do. Is that when your coffee level gets low? Yeah. <laughs> That's when you can't even be stopped out there, can you? Just nope. Forward. Okay. All right. Anything else for this man? 
It's been a great pleasure to meet you. I hope you keep the rest of your fingers. You only got nine left. I got them keep them all. All right. I'm going to retire with them. I, I just don't want just didn't want that one. All right. That way, they can't say that's my point finger, and I just tell them I'm going to hit you with the nub. Okay. All right, man. I'll pass the witness. I have no questions. <laughs>